Hello everybody, my name is Light of Hand and today I'll be doing an unboxing for Lovecraft Letter which is a love letter game by AEG and I'm not sure who uh, who they are, to be honest, I've never heard of them before but it doesn't mean that I don't, I don't know a lot of board game companies and stuff like that this is um, by, um, by Sanji Kani Get on, let me zoom in, I know I'm not very good Fortunately, with names, so let's just zoom in so you guys can see it. So the gentleman gets his credit. Okay, guys, well, I've got this today from my local, uh, or one of the game shops I like to go into, named Dark Sphere. Um, so, yeah, let's uh, let's begin. Always start off with the my little trusty letter opener. Okay, oh, no, it's not worked so well. So let's just sort of come across here for a minute. Let's do that. And now let's... Come over. Okay, so let's open this up. Before I do anything else, let's quickly take a look at the front box art. I do like that typical sort of Lovecraft sort of thing. Looks like either an Elder One or Cthulhu, and always seems to have some scientists involved. Oh, that kind of looks cool. That does look good. Okay, so let's have a quick look at the back here. And the writing, uh, there's a little bit of story here. In the 1920s, the world is still in chaos of the First World War. In the, in the middle of this, one of your relatives has encountered something, something mysterious in Egypt. Strange shadows that come to life. Letters with un okay, un uncomprehendable texts and strange symbols. Upon arriving, you find out he is missing and decide to investigate. Never would you have expected the horror that awaits you. Okay, well, the game is a two to six players. Um, I like the idea of this. I believe there's another sort of letter here from his family. I'm not going to read that one out loud, though. Um, yeah, so they reckon it takes ten minutes to play, around ten minutes. Uh, so, yeah, not suitable for anyone of a young age. Now let's see if I can get this open, or is this... Am I looking at this right? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Sorry, guys. It's magnetic. That's cool. Let's have a quick look at the uh, artwork on the inside there. That does look very nice. The little bit there is obviously of the... Uh... Oh, it's the rule book. It's not... As you can see, the rules aren't that uh, large. So, yeah. Okay, so let's put that there. Oh, this is nice. Oh, I like it. Poker chips. I really like. I like this little case they've got here. If I'm honest, guys. Um, this these feel really good, actually. I have to say. Uh, sorry about that. Let's quickly open them. I'm not sure I can actually. <laughs> oh no, there is a way. There is a way. Uh. I don't want to try and damage anything, so sorry about this, guys. Give me a sec, and let's take a look. So, there's a few chips here. One side has the... And the other side is like that. These really... Actually, these feel really nice. I'm not being silly. They do feel really nice. Okay, so let's... Uh, and, this, and they slot quite easily back into what's there. Okay, and these are the sleep. Wow, there's some extra sleeves, some sleeves here. I think these are your plain see-through sleeves. And then let's open this up, just quickly have a look. I believe these ones, yeah, these, oh, this is lovely. Okay, so you get a load of sleeves as well. And as you sort of can see, it has this lovely Lovecraft bit. And these are obviously for the cars. Now that's really good. Now hopefully I can get this back in without any trouble. Yeah, I can. That's good. And they also give you some clear see-through ones. Now I'm assuming the see-through ones are for certain specific cars that probably got rules on and stuff like that. That's... Yep, they're see-through. Hmm. I actually have to say, I really like what I'm seeing so far here. Okay, let's try and get this open without damaging any of the cards. Because if you damage them, they are... There's going to be problems, and this again, I, I prefer it when card sets have a very good 
sort of way of opening them, unlike the others, which I felt really annoyed me because I managed to damage some cards because of, because of that. Okay, so there's a list of the cards. Another, okay, cool. So you get six of them, obviously for everyone who who's there. Oh wow, these, okay. For zero, you've got the MyGo Brain Case. You knock out, you're knocked out the round. Oh wow, so that's kind of cool. You got Investigators. Got a few of them. These remind me of the guards from Love Letter. Deep ones as well. Name a number other than the one and choose another player. If they have that number in their hand, they are knocked out the round. Oh, that's really cool. Same as the guards, except for you have to name. Cats of Uthru. That's cool. Choose choose a player and look at, look at their hand. Oh, cool. So there's more cards. See, I like this. So, so there's more to it than this. The golden... Oh, cool. Oh, gold. The Great Race of Yath. The Hound of... Oh, I'd heard of him. I remember him from the roleplay. The Elder Sign. It has to be in it. The Libra... Oh, the Libra... I can't pronounce it. Sorry, guys. Professor Harry Arm Armachesh. Me a go. That's five. So you could play normal Lovecraft, or sorry, normal Love Letter, or you could play with the additional rules. I I like Cthulhu. Oh, brilliant. So the Necronorkel. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. It's too many letters. The Silver Key. Yeah. So that actually really interests me. There's quite a few cards there, and I like the fact that they come with these lovely sleeves, so I can. Because I plan on playing this soon, I may, I may be playing this either with some friends next time I play Arkham Horror, or I might even on a channel called Ready Steady Play. I'm sure you, some of you may know, have heard of it, and I use the words "may" here, guys, because again, it's not definitely been confirmed. If it's not been, you know, it's up to my mate Mike. So yeah, you'll sort of see. Again, the sort of rule book. I like how the fact this. Cards tells you how to play, how to play sort of mythos and what each card sort of do. So yeah, I'm I'm actually really kind of liking what I'm seeing here. Um, sanity token face up, sanity token face down. Cool. I've, I've, all it is about love letter, guys, is I actually really enjoyed it. I have, I have to thank my friend Graham for that because he, he was the one who introduced me to Love Letter the first time. Now this is the first time I've owned Love Letter, uh, like Love Letter game and I always find that it's a nice little game sometimes if, after you've played something it's quite intense just for a nice little relaxing moment. A bit like Kings of Tokyo. For me Kings of Tokyo is not one of those little fun little games. It's not it's not something I would you know take out you know if I want to play like something like Bolt you know if I'm in the mood of playing Bolt action or something like that, something more a bit more intense. But if you want to have a nice little relaxing moment, even with friends that don't really understand these type of game, um, you know, board games or miniature games very much, I'd recommend something like this. Anyway, guys, if you've liked this video, please click like. If you'd like to subscribe, please do. If you'd like to leave a comment, again, please do. Um, obviously, I've said things wrong, so I know one or two of you are going to probably let me know that. Um, I don't mean that in a nasty way, guys. I suffer from dyslexia, so I know. I know someone will. Um, so, as I said, yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. W would you be interested in buying this yourself? Have you had any good experiences with the Love Letter games? Myself, I think that, as I said, they've been kind of fun for me. I'd like to get the Batman one when it comes, you know, when it's already out, but maybe it comes around again. But I love this sort of look box. When I saw the price originally, I wasn't sure if I was going to because the Love Letter game itself is really cheap. But this, this is good. And as I said, you know, next time I'm meeting up with some of my friends to play Arkham Horror, I'll be up for playing this. I might be playing this soon somewhere else. But again, as I said, guys, I'm not sure if that's definitely happening. Anyway, guys, my name is Light of Hand. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And goodbye.